you want, you want. To achieve that thing, you are ready to do anything. Any bad things. You are getting anger. All this creates karma. How charity helps to control this? It helps. How means? For example, if you feed the person who is starving for food, after he had a food, he will be very happy. You can see the great smile in his face. That brings such a nice feeling in you, which is called joy. There are two things in the human life, happiness and joy. That is the difference between happiness and joy. Happiness is what you alone get. Joy, when you share your happiness with the people, those who are not having that, it brings joy. So once you experience that joy, it will be such a nice, wonderful feeling. You want to do that again. It creates that intention in you to feel that joy again. So what you will do? You will do the dharma again in another way. Along with that previous joy, you know, when this joy adds, you feel more bliss. And it makes you to feel that joy again. So you will continue the dharma again. Again, that will develop in you and it wants you to do again and again and again. Before you are in this world and you find happiness by taking from this world. Now you are happy, you felt happy by giving. So before you think the world is for me, it has to give many things, but it, you doesn't know what is the limit. You want to take, take, take. Because of that, it causes worries, greed, desire, everything. Now you find happiness in giving. So before you think, the world is for me. Once you feel, once you have filled your heart with the full of joy, you will feel, I am here to give. Before you feel, I am here to take, which is not possible. It cannot satisfy you. The more you get, the more you want. You can see in this world, there are people who worry about $10, there are people who worried about million dollars. So, just through the materialistic thing, you cannot find the contentment, the fulfillment, but you can find through giving. So, once you fill your heart full of joy, instead of thinking, I have to take from this world, you will start to think, I have to give to this world. When you are in that stage, when you want to give to this world, then automatically the one important thing will disappear from your life. You know what is that? What is that? Greed. Because what you already have, you want to give. So you don't need anything from this world. If you don't need anything from this world means, then there is no greed for you. When there is no greed, then no karma. 
So everyone is just thinking we are, dharma means just helping. No. It will bring the great effect and very good results in one towards a path of peace. For all the sufferings, the cause is karma. For all the karma, the cause is greed. It is easy to say, I like to have, you know, the life without greed. But it is very hard to implement. But you can cultivate such a life by entering into the dharma, by entering into the path of spirituality, by doing goods. As Emma told, you know, it's a feeling. You know? So once you used to feel that joy, you will want that again and again and again. Once you filled with the full of joy, you will not have to take anything from this world. You will find the inner peace, which is the greatest wealth that will bring the contentment, it will bring the fulfillment in your life. So to have the peace and joy in your life, you must take devotion and charity as your two eyes. Devotion is for to bring the good heart to do good things. And charity is to bring the joy and to reduce the karma. When you follow these two things, automatically whatever problem you have from the previous karma or before that, your devotion and good deeds will balance that will reduce the pain. It brings joy. Apart from all these things, everyone will have some worries. You know, if you ask someone, though they have lots of things which the world is not having, still they feel empty. Should not be like that. Divine is kind enough to provide everything. Whatever is necessary for man to have the healthy life, it is large in this world. Like for example, sun, it provides light, air, water. Along with this, you know, the pujas, the haven, what Amma is doing every day, whether it is in India or America or wherever it is, it is for whom? For every creation in this world. So along with all this gift, Amma will be always with you for your peaceful and joyful life. Amma bless the whole universe to be in peace and joy. Amma bless you all.